This is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome. The floodlights are shining down here at the 80,000 capacity Lusail Stadium just to the north of Doha. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Portugal facing Ghana. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the Ghana starting 11. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And this confrontation is underway. Mohamed Kudus. Silva. It's there for him. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. And he takes on the shot. And the penalty has been given here. Can he make it 1-0? And it's a wild one! Well, there's not much you can say about that. What a miss that was. Well, prior to the last 20 years, Portugal were infrequent visitors to the World Cup. All that has changed. We always expect them to be there. And frankly, we expect them to be involved in the business end of the tournament. Well, we know they have good players. In fact, very good players. They've also got a coach that knows how to win football matches. And they can challenge anybody when they play at their best. They're certainly a team to watch in this tournament. Really vital interception here. Good bit of pressing. A oh, terrific pass. Able to close down the shot. On the offensive. Oh, it might be! did so well to move across and deal with the danger
Now the short corner here. Ronaldo. Well, the textbook interception. Bruno Fernandes. And it might be. And still danger here. In it goes! At the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So underway again here, one nil the score. Oh, good looking run. Is it going to be? And alarmingly, that is a long way off target. Well, there you go. Just look at those stats. They've certainly got forward enough, but the finishing has been pretty woeful. You just wonder if they're going to regret this come the end of the game. Well, let's see. Maybe this attack will prove more productive. It's Bernardo Silva. Ronaldo! And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Are you? chance to do damage and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end crossing possibilities it was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball Rafael Leao Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. Thomas Partey. The ball with Jordan Ayew. Ayew. High quality defending. And they need to get tighter here. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is... So back with the action here.
and Portugal very much bossing the game will there be a response in the second 45 and out for a throw in just misfiring with the pass just failing to hit the target with his pass and it'll be a throw in Baba Kudus promising move well didn't go as a plan in the end space afforded him and a good take under duress there Amarse Suleimana Now he's given it away Ronaldo And the flag is up, offside Well that's just a lack of awareness He was clearly in an offside position Mohamed Kudus Able to skip past his man This is looking threatening Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Cristiano Ronaldo. And Ronaldo sends it in. Well, they can keep possession now. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. And that is going to be a free kick. Sulemana. Partey. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Substitution for the hosts. Coming off the pitch. Number 18. And the short option preferred. Has a go. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. Fernandes. Promising-looking ball. Fernandes. Can he find the net? Not a great challenge. Free kick here. me he made it far too easy for the keeper didn't he Ronaldo and that will be a corner taken short and Bernardo Silva has it takes it on and the keeper did more than enough. Growing pressure here, and another corner. Well, it still could be dangerous. He'll take this on. Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. Kofi Cherry. Very quick thinking there. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Here it is now. A substitution. And space to attack. Ronaldo is at the far post. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. 
some potential danger here. Oh, what an opportunity! Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Will he love? And the referee says that will do it. It is a win for Portugal, just what.